Um, I don't even know what day today is. I think it's Thursday. Uh, we are finally back from vacation. We are back from vacation crud that Kellen got last week. Um, Poppy is meowing. She wants to be part of the video. Come on, Pops. Um, come on, Poppy. Come on. Come on. I don't know what she wants. She doesn't want to come up here. And she has food. So, um, come on. You gonna come up here? There we go. See, puppy. Um, I am still battling this stupid, uh, neck shoulder thing lately. I can't feel my fingers and my left hand very well. Um, some of the pain is better. Sometimes it's not. Earlier this morning, it was pretty bad. It was raining. I think that was part of it. You hear the praying? The, um mechanical sound you hear we have a prism a mechanical prism in the window so when it's sunny it gets solar power and it uh spins a prism and rainbows go around the room the cats chase it when we have the blinds open right now we have the blinds shut so um so yeah i'm still battling this stupid neck shoulder thing and it's pretty much on my nerves and i'm tired of it um but we started back school this week, so we're doing back in school. Um, we've been doing ancient India. We've been doing normal language arts and math and spelling and vocabulary. Um, we're learning about ocean currents, which is very um, timely, I guess, since we just got back from the ocean. So a lot of the experiments we don't have to do because we've already seen the currents. Um, we had a great vacation, but everybody was ready to come home. And so just trying to get back into the swing of stuff. Kellen starts back to swim today. We're actually leaving in like five minutes to go to swim. Uh, we were supposed to start back last week, but he uh, was too sick to go. Um, it's been a little warm here. The trees have started blooming, and I think that he really had allergies but we don't know if it was allergies or virus so we're continuing with the allergy medication as things seem to be getting better I don't know what Poppy wants she just keeps meowing at me but she won't tell me what she wants uh, so yeah everybody's kind of back into the swing of stuff and I have to muddle through this neck thing to do some deadlines um Part of my problem is my left arm feels like it's 100 pounds, so lifting it to type hasn't been easy. And then when it's painful, it's just hard to focus on anything. Um, except wanting to saw my arm off, which uh, obviously is not an option. Um, I'm having a lot less of the major shoulder blade pain, but it um, I'm still having pain across the top of my shoulder and still some back here. And then... Like, these fingers are numb on the end, so even when this cat bites them, she's like biting my hand. Even when she bites my hand, it's, uh, it's a weird sensation. And then I'll get pins and needles at times, and um, it's, just, it's just weird. It's just affecting everything. But at the same time, I'm a little antsy because I have stuff I want to get done and do, and... Um, I'm forcing myself not to get in into any new shows. Some of my shows have already ended for the season. Some shows are ending completely forever. Um, and I'm just not going to let myself get sucked into that stuff. Um, so, last night I was hurting bad enough. I couldn't really do anything. So, Eric and I watched a movie um, called Breeze, which was actually an incredible movie. It was incredibly moving. Um, it was very positive. It was about... Robin Cavendish, who ended up getting polio and was paralyzed by polio, but he ended up with his friend, I think the name Teddy Hall, I think is his name. They designed a wheelchair where he could be on a respirator and still go around and be a person, it's, excuse me, excuse me, Poppy, and not be stuck in an iron lung in a hospital for the rest of his life. And they advocated for um, medical devices and patients rights for not having to live in a hospital for the rest of your life on a, just on a respirator even if you know going home and having a respirator at home 
Um, so I like watching stories like that because it just shows the power of the human spirit. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. At first he wanted to die and he didn't want to live that way, but it just shows how the powerful force of the mind and how, how you, you, you are not defined by your circumstances. Um, how you can define yourself given your circumstances and how people can rise above no matter what and push forward and, you know, still be in the world and still affect change in the world. Um, and it's just a reminder to me that, you know, no matter what's going on with this neck shoulder thing or, or, you know, the chronic fatigue that I've been struggling with lately or any of that, it just goes to show that I can't let it define who I'm going to be and just push through despite it all. Um, I, even struggling with this, I went and got new headshots cause I cut my hair, which you probably noticed on vacation videos, but, um, was tired of, I didn't really fix it today. It's kind of fuzzy, <laughs> but I was tired of dealing with it and trying to make it fit into somebody else's mold. And so I cut it the way I wanted it to wear it. And, um, I went and got new headshots because of that, because my hair has to match my headshots. And I think I got one of the best theatrical headshot I've ever gotten in my entire life. And I'm super proud of it. Um, so yeah. So, I mean, I think, I think everything I've gone through lately and, you know, growing as an actor and stuff has helped me with getting that headshot, but I feel like it's me. I feel like, um, I feel like I can do almost anything. Like all the movies I've watched lately, it's just, just be you. And if people don't like the way you are, I mean, I'm not a bad person, but a good person and kind and I care. And you know, if people don't like that and they don't like that I'm trying, then that's on them. It's not on me. So all of this rambling, just to say that, um, I feel like it's important to just be myself and be who I want to be. And, um, I'm just going to keep doing that. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great day and I will talk to you later.